All right, here we go. Day 22. Day 22. I've already got this. <clears throat> Looks like a little bit of water might have got in. Doesn't make any difference, like I said, to the hotness. Whoa. I'm doing it backwards is how I normally do it. There we go. That's good enough. Just making sure that I got enough for uh, the rest of my training. Let's see. It's the lid really dirty here. We'll let that sit, and let's take a look at our puddle. That's what we got for today. Uh, that looks that looks kind of I think I like a lot. It's got a little bit of depth to it. I can see in the spoon, so. <clears throat> Yeah, day 22, the hair, okay. Day 22, I've got uh, Wicked Wiz playing a really weird horror game. That's my background noise for today. Day 22, here we go. Chinese. 
his TikTok was hiding from a monster. 10 out of 10. There were so many that I was just spamming next to see if there was an end. But unfortunately, I crashed the game. Anyway, as great as it is to procrastinate whilst under threats, I was still lost. I had absolutely no idea what to do. I was doing the same thing as before, just going around the house trying to see what items I could collect. I mean, I found a plank of wood, some fuel, and a lighter, but nothing else. Until I found this lock that required a code to gain access to this bedroom. This was a great find, and at least I had some kind of direction, but for the life of me, I couldn't find a code anywhere. So while ready to give up, I noticed that in the menu, there was this strategy guide, which is just a link to a video on some Chinese version of YouTube, I think, which basically goes through the whole game and shows you what to do. And it turns out that the ring that I found earlier had the clue all along. Now, thankfully, this is where we start to make some progress, as inside this room, we can find a safe with the combination pretty much next to it. Inside, there was this manual on how to deal with the spider lady. Basically, we had to go around, collect these eggs, and find a place to burn them. So now, with this new information and this key that I also found in the safe, I went looking for eggs. Mm. There we go. <clears throat> Tastes kind of gross today for some reason. I did have quite a lot. I think maybe more than I usually do. Spicy stuff. All right, here we go. This isn't the end of the game. This whole part was what I would like to call the actual horror segment. The rest of it is kind of hard to explain, because after this, the front door is open, and common sense would say that we could just go to the car and drive away from whatever the hell this nightmare is. But, <laughs> but that's not what happens. Instead, you're meant to go down a well, which 
which leads us into a cave with an entire underwater segment. Eels and everything. Uh, Guess we can just uh, easily avoid them like this. Please tell me I can. There we go. <sighs> Greg and Ball in this mouth. What? Now, though, this makes sense, but it's kind of cool that we have this entirely new mechanic. And what appears to be quite an appealing environment. So after swimming around for a little bit, I found this Dragon Ball, which gives me the ability to breathe underwater. Now, for the sake of science, I did attempt to see if we could actually watch TikTok underwater, but unfortunately, <laughs> I can't do that. However, I did find this guy right here who had some kind of stone tablet and this device. And after picking it up, <sighs>
Wow. Well, uh, 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 uh,
fouls on the floor and you can't stop them in. And it does give you some clues in the top left hand corner. Uh, and again, it's easy to press the right button in order to, I guess, unlock the door. However, you know, it's much easier said than done. The problem with this bundle is that there wasn't too much of an explanation as to the There wasn't anything on the wall, any bad Fifteen minutes post spinning it out. The peak heat is over. situation to be in. Oh, oh, you've, you've, yeah, the ghost got me so hard, I, uh, I don't 
got the hard C, but on the day, something happened. Now I can see the different developments highlighted in the news, which basically meant that the novice protection system, or whatever the hell it was called, was now switched on. Let's <coughs> let me go ahead and find all the different fragments. But after a good amount of time, the door just got fed up and figured it out for itself. So this novice protection system, or whatever it is, kind of makes it a bit pointless. Anyway, this next bit has us going down the corridor. Oh, God. What the weirdest thing about this is that you can't run, you're stuck in first person. It's, it's kind of hard to explain the rest of it. It is kind of creepy. Well, I can tell you. Okay, that was hotter than yesterday, but I think that I used more extract. It was significantly hotter than yesterday, but that's a good thing, because I'm training a tolerance, so the hotter it is, the better. <clears throat> Still pretty decently lit up. <clears throat> We're probably going to go for a while. <clears throat> trying not to spit anymore so that the burn hits the back of my throat a little bit more. I've noticed that uh, <clears throat> that <clears throat> seems to be working moderately at least. <clears throat> so the back of my throat is getting prepared a little bit. <clears throat> There was definitely more in my spoon today because uh, I noticed about it was probably like what you know one point higher than my bird yesterday so maybe like a seven today uh, seven and a half and it lasted five minutes longer uh, I was still pretty lit up, and it's uh, 20, 21 and a half minutes after I spit it out. Uh, but yeah, not spitting so often gets the burn at the back of my throat. And uh, that's where I need the most, like that's where I was feeling the burn the worst. That's where I need the most practice for horsemen. <clears throat> Let's see how much is left. Jeez. There's a... Yeah, that much. I hope I don't run out. Still got quite a bit left, but I also still have quite a few days of training to go. So, 
<clears throat> Fingers crossed I don't run out. If I run out, I'm going to end up doing the horseman sooner. Instead of that Wednesday, either Friday or Saturday. If I don't think I can make it to Wednesday. But, uh, oh. <sighs> Pretty good burn today, yeah. Ah, oh, damn. So, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go at 31. My burn is less than a two now, so I'm just gonna wait till thirty one. Instead of thirty two, it'll be fine. That was day twenty two, I'll be back tomorrow with day twenty three. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs>